Okay, welcome back everyone to episode two of my contribution yeah. tour. Um, we are entering Florin right now, which is over here on the map. We previously, in episode one, we did Heidel, um, Velia, and Olvius, and now we are making our way all the way down here to Florin. And this one is pretty quick, actually. Yeah. So the first thing I want to do is talk to uh, the chief, Valentine. Um, you're going to want to get 50 Amity to start it, but it's completely worth it because there's the fix the herb brewer and pick weeds with the pig. The thing you get out of this one is five polished stones, which is actually really rare. Well, it's not really rare, but it's a highly used item. So this is definitely something you don't sell. You want to use it. Um, and if you do it every day and you don't use it currently, you could save it and late game, I guarantee you will use it if you are into life skilling whatsoever. Or even you will probably use it to make cooking utensils and stuff. So to do that quest, um, you have to get the five scantlings, which we did in Olvia. So that's why I told you to hold on to five of them. Otherwise, there are a lot of trees and you can just pick them up. So with that said, we got that one, which usually triggers this weird quest that we will have for a necklace. And you do that in Calpion, so just worry about that later. So the other quest we do over here is you talk to this person. And it's a good way to get your health XP up. And you go into Herb Brewer, you just pretty much hit your spacebar. Get Oh, that's a bad example. Let's try that again. You get your the bar into the red zone, essentially. You do that five times and you're good to go. When you land, you have to relax your body like me. Huh? Idiot. Ooh, that was a close one, like actually. Me. Well, anyway, we got it. Five land, of them done. You, you get three energy, like health me. experience, and 100 contribution for like a whole 30 seconds. So this one kind of confused me at the first point. Um, what you're going to want to do is make sure to talk to him and get the pig flute. And the pig flute looks like a breadstick. So... You go over here into this area where it is like purple and pink flowers. You just drop the flute down. And then when you see the weeds, you pick them up. You hit the R button. When I first interacted with them, like the first time I've ever done this, I didn't know you actually picked them up. I thought you had to wait for the pig to do it and it'll tell you you got one. But it doesn't tell you you pick it up. So just make sure to look in your inventory. Once you get three of them, you get three of these and you're good to go. So after that, we have a few more quests in here. One is to pick up the kite, which we will pick up that one. Oh. And sometimes, if you never did it before, you could use a silver azalea. Um, you just have to bring one and bring it to the person. <clears throat> so, we're going to get the kite now from for the dude. If you are one of those classes that can double jump, this makes your life so much easier. If you're not, like myself, uh, you just walk around manually. Up. It takes a few more seconds, but it's not really a big deal. So later on, eventually, when you're doing this for your, like, thousandth time, then, uh... You can always park your character and make another one that has a double jump. Save you the extra second, because it matters, I guess. So as we move on, we have a quest over here from Kisha. You have to find a raccoon, and you talk to Tasha over here to get the fruit basket. And make sure to talk to her. That's how you actually get the quest done. So once you get the fruit basket, you go like around here-ish into the woods a little bit. And then you see where the tame raccoons are. You drop the fruit basket down and you're good to go. So like a raccoon or two will come over by it. You just take them. And if you can, if you have the chance to get two of them, uh, that's good because when you're doing this quest again, you don't have to do it for two days. You just turn it in. So yeah, once you get that, you get it in your inventory. And you just turn this in, you get uh, 3 energy, 120 contribution. And with that said, we are done in Florin. So now we are going all the way to uh, the Northern Wheat Plantation. Uh, if it's your first time there, there's going to be a lot more quests than what I see. Because uh, there are some one-time quests and then there are daily repeatables. So we are actually very close to uh, 257 CP. <clears throat> and if you are below... Um, 255 CP, uh, you probably, by doing what I showed you pretty much today, you'll get about 3 or 4 CP a day. 
And then once you hit the soft cap at 255, you get maybe one a day or a little bit less depending on how much you are actually doing. So um, just keep that in mind. So with that said, the first person we talked to here is Normal Light. She's like the lady who owns this entire area. Um, you do have to get about 150 Amity with, to get these two quests. It's really, like, it's worth it in my opinion, so you get two of them. Um, so yeah, we're going to start off with the killing one. And you just pretty much attack locust swarms. By the time you do this, you should be, like, good to go. Uh, these, this is, like, level 35-ish, so you should probably be higher than that. And... You don't really have to do much work. You just kind of like bomb things, especially if you have your awakened. AP doesn't really matter here. It's just kind of get it done. Just in case you didn't know, the best way to do it is when you look on your map, you see like there are red dots and then there are yellow dots. You want to go where there are a bunch of yellow dots. Okay, so there's also a quest around here. Sometimes it appears, sometimes it doesn't. The NPC kind of wanders, so maybe some days you get lucky and find him. Other days, he's in like some random spot. You can't find him. It's kind of weird, actually. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but the NPC is like missing half the time. So if you can get it, that's good. If not, it's not a big deal. Oh, there it is. Like, see, that wasn't there before. So you get a guy named Thomas. You pretty much, this is an escort quest. You bring him back into the city. He's like one of the fastest moving NPCs next to this grandma lady that we'll get later on. It's pretty impressive because I wish all NPCs moved this fast. That would be fantastic. So you just bring him over to this dude, and you're good to go. You get um, 120 contribution, 3 energy. So what we're going to do now is uh, the Lost Grandma quest. And she's always by the windmill somewhere on the path. So once you get there, you just follow the road-ish area, and then you should be good to go. So if it's your first time doing it, don't do what I'm doing. Just follow the path, and then eventually you'll end up here. So she could be between here and all the way down, usually. She's downwards. So we shall see today. There she is. She's also one of the, like, the fastest-moving NPCs I've ever seen in this game, so... What is that? What the heck? That's creepy, actually. So after we do the quest over here, uh, we're pretty much done in the northern wheat plantation. And we, we move all the way into the main city of Calpion. And then that's where a lot of the quests start. So we brought Eva, and we're good to go. Always put the milk once again, 130 CP, good. So with that said, we are done here. We are, oh, did I not turn it in? Everyone's going through a hard time. The saddest way of life. So once we are in Calpion, this is the entrance I took. There's a lot of different ways to get in, but, um, this is where I start when in the crossroad. So there's a guard NPC over here. Um, you just talk to him. Hopefully there's an NPC where it is like, where is it? Sometimes you find the NPC right nearby. Sometimes you don't and you actually have to look for him, which is not a big deal. What you want to look for is like an NPC that's running around like aimlessly. Sometimes you find it easily. Sometimes you don't. That's the problem. 
So essentially it looks like someone like that. But where is it? We enjoying yourself. Where are you? Kind of look like that actually. Yeah, there's the pickpocket. You take him, bring him to the NPC. Sometimes he's like right there, like that one, and you can get it without really having to move at all. I usually pick the uh, herbal juice once again. So after that one, remember how we picked up the Black Spirit quest over here? This is where we turn it in. You really don't have to do anything. You just get free 80 CP every day. Good for you. And then turn around immediately. This one is a chimney sweeping quest. There's no prereqs for this one. So that means you just can talk to the NPC and you're good to go. Um... You cut through the bank, make a shortcut over here. You don't have to have any special jump abilities. You just climb up here, over here, then there's a roof. Chimney. Easy, 120, that's about it. So what you could do personally, if you don't remember like the order, is you hit your O button, go to Reoccurring, go to Calpion, and you just kind of go down the list. So I'll do what I think is personally easy and you can do without any startup effort. So with that said, we go down here, make a quick shortcut through here. My horse isn't tier eight and doesn't have a, like a perfect turn, so that's why it takes me a little bit longer. Talk to the old lady. This has got to be one of the easiest quests you can ever do. Just go around. Sometimes you find a bird. Chicken. And then it's in the area 100% of the time. You just find one, talk to the NPC, and you're good to go. Easy 120. So next on our list is the illegal propaganda. And that one should be... But, however, usually as I turn over here, there's a quest you do pick up this one. Mm, this there isn't really any prerequisite, so you just pick up the high quality wine. This one's the one where, when I first did it, I didn't know what to do. I just kind of picked it up and didn't know you have to actually pick up the wine. So you do that, you carry one over there, and you're good. So, as you get the wine, put it down. Don't take too long, though, because I don't know how long the despawn timer is. Pick up this quest on the way. Bring this one over here. Because you will have to go back, so you might as well just turn in two quests at once. So you pick up the wine again, and you come over here. Drop the wine again. Talk to the escort. And you're good to go. Drop the wine between those people, and you're good to go. Now, I picked this one up for later, because this we will be doing this one, just not now. So, the carrot and the stick pretty much take food from the table. You'll be turning it in a little bit later. But, as for right now, we're going to turn in these two quests. This one was for the escort one that we did previously. So you just turn this one in. Easy, uh, 120. Oh, Nooper's gone. Herbal juice, we get that one. Got a contribution point, 257, hype. I usually get like less than one CP a day, yeah, but I also don't do the Medea or Valencia ones that much. Only if I'm really feeling it. Simply too expensive <laughs> so, to next on our list we go 
We still have the legal propaganda ones, which is really easy. So you just go up here, make a sharp turn. You don't actually have to turn that way. I'd highly recommend not doing that. You talk to this guard. He wants to get like protesters. So the protesters are like in, there's usually one guy in the corner over here at all times. So you can just turn. Sometimes you get lucky and there's like one over here and you don't have to move. points from that easy talk to this card this is the legal propaganda then you just look for like a glowing book or something where is it leaflet pick up that more points So after that, we go get the Prancing Lamb, which is a little bit further. We also, I also do this one. This one's kind of optional. You don't have to do this one because it's kind of out of the way. To do this one, what you have to do is find and pet the peep. It's kind of out of the city. That's why some people skip it. But if you want to do it, I think it's worth it just because CP is always good, even if it takes like an extra like 30 seconds out of your day. So you Take the bread out of the sack area, then just turn it, completely just turn around, drop that one. Wait for that bar to fill up, and then the peep comes over, and you just hit R. After that, you pretty much did peep quest. Doesn't really matter which one you pick. The most expensive one is probably the beer, so I just kind of take that one. Next on the list is the prancing lamb. We kind of just pass that on the way. So what you do is start this M or talk to this NPC. Then you get a green herb from the NPC right next to him. Make sure to pick that one up. I actually tested this in one of my previous videos. The lamb right here is glitched into the rock, so don't put it there. Um, however, there's a lamb right here. Essentially, drop the green herb that we picked up from the guy. And the lamb over there, he will come to us. Then once we get our lamb, we just pretty much take it back to the main NPC, and then that one is easy points. <laughs> after that, we can do the happily ever after one. I don't really do these two that much, but you could. Um, does it? few up here we could do I'll just pick this one up so for the sake of doing it this is kind of out of the way but it really depends on the time of the day you do it because there's one where you have to get something during the day and then there's one for nighttime so there's guarantee one you can do no matter what time you of the day you're doing it I just lagged right there so in our case it's like uh, still daytime technically 7 30 p.m. Almost. You could actually um, go through this little tunnel right here. Took me a while to actually figure that out. This is probably one of the worst things ever because it's so narrow. You could jump over it, but I have the hardest time turning. It's, I'm pretty sure it's just my horse and I'm bad. And I run into another wall. Oh my goodness. I wonder if tier 8s are this bad, or like, I hope they're not. You talk to this lady over here, and then you just kind of pick it up, accept it. 
do a 180, pick up a stringy herb, and then easy. Hundred twenty CP, three energy, and a small sword fragment. The small sword fragment, if you collect seven of them, you bring it to the top of the tower and you open a box, it gives you 120 CP, and it's kinda just like oh. Kinda underwhelming actually. So don't actively go and collect them. If if, if I get seven, that's cool. Um, I'm done, but if not, that's fine. So I pick up two quests over here, the rabbit one, as you guys can see bring the rabbit to the vendor and so we're in there now jeez I really need a tier 8 horse so bad is there a way to actually um, get items to make your mount like turn better <laughs> in a way So as we come back down here, there's a few quests we could do. One, as we're on our way back, this is another chimney sweeping one. Easy. While you're up here, make sure to pick up this one all the way in the back. It's kind of out of the way, but you talk to her, bring the weave, and make sure to actually pick one up because I've forgotten to take it so many times before. And then getting out of here. Might take a whole day. As you do this, be careful as you're climbing up. I've never actually fallen, but I'm pretty sure you can. Clean the chimney. Can somebody let me down? 120 CP, good we to go. Make a sword Bring the rabbits back. Over here, you get another small sword fragment, that's good. Mostly what we're worried about is the contribution, that's all that matters. The quest I do down here, don't don't take that gold one. That one's kind of weird. I just pick up this one, the port keeper. Carry a crate. Make sure to like actually walk it. Don't take an auto path because it will like take you to another area. Drop this off. Pick up the herbal juice again and we're good to go. So after that, once we turn this one in, our horse should be right here. If you have sweet potatoes, you could turn that plus water in and get this quest done. However, um, to get sweet potatoes, you would have to have a worker somewhere around here. I would probably recommend Elric Shrine. Wait, hold on, that's not it. It's somewhere around here. Yeah, Sweet Potato. And then you can get it from Tariff over here. So where's that horse? There you are. So as we have the two other, oh my goodness, I just fell. Dang you, horse. You are a liability. This blade of silk, that one's uh, actually really easy. It depends which order you take them in. You could probably do all three quests at once. So we get the silk, just drop it, make sure you have it in your inventory. 
the NPC is right there once you're done. Then you just talk to one of the other NPCs and you're good. 120 plus 3 energy. Easy. And uh, the carrot and the stick one. Remember when we picked up the food on the table? This is what we're about to do now. So, I would. This is kind of far away, so I'd probably recommend calling your horse again. Calpion just has too many NPCs. I love the music here, but so many NPCs I like swerve off course. So you pretty much you stop here. You go in, go up, keep going all the way to the top. See where all these hungry protesters are. So you use your food, set out a feast. Then everyone just gets up and you talk to someone and you're good to go. The other two quests I have incomplete were the ones from Belia, where we have to turn that in on our way back, and the one in Heidel with the lazy soldiers that I forgot to turn in, so we'll get them eventually. So never take that path, you always just uh, get off your horse and then take the shortcut over here. It's actually a bit faster. So pretty much if you look at this, we pretty much did all the easy ones and then everything else out here would be a little bit more challenging or out of the way. So pretty much that is Calpion in a nutshell. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. What we have next is Medea and Valencia, but those might take a while to actually do. So if you want to watch part one again, we started in Heidel, then we moved up to Velia, Olvia next, and then we did Florin, Northern Wheat Plantation, and ended in Calpion. And then after that, I would usually head back and turn all these in. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. If you are new to your channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I do upload videos every single day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.